I was finally back on the Pine Way. It's um, now after Christmas. There was quite a bit of snow um, for the last few weeks, so I've avoided coming out here. It's still pretty cold. It's um, about one degrees, and I'm getting some sleet starting to land on me. Um, the weather forecast said it could be snow today, but I'm not going very far. I'm currently back at Gorpal Reservoir, and I'm going to head up to I think it's in Widdup Reservoir and get as far as maybe Pondon before I head back to my car. Yeah, there's a little bit of a wind out, and I can feel it going straight through my fleece, so I'm out with my waterproofs on. So make sure the wind chill's bearable. It's quite cold on my hand holding the camera. You see, there's still a lot of snow up in the hills. So let's head on over in that direction. little waterboard access route to one of the reservoirs but it's really stinging my face and my eyes very fine sleet well, at least there's another hiker I can see so it's just not me today sorry because it's quite cold in my hands Still very crisp underfoot. As you can see, I'm rapidly becoming surrounded by just white. Hopefully, it's not going to be a complete whiteout. Hopefully, it is. Got lots of bits of snow stuck to it. Losing the path. It's over here. Hopefully, I'll get into Top Withens within half an hour. I'm going to sit down there and have some food to eat and decide whether to press on to Pondon or whether I don't want to risk the, any visibility I've got. I keep hearing lots of grouse in the background. The red grouse, which make their home in this type of heather, because it's hard for predators to get them. It makes good nests. This um, old farmhouse has a 
slight claim to fame in that many people believe it is somehow associated with the novel Wuthering Heights. It's called Top Withens. And it's kind of in a bleak moorland setting. Now, about five or six miles away, there's a small village called Holworth. And my family lived there with six children. Um, five girls and one boy. And three of those girls wrote three famous books, all published in the same year. Um, Emily wrote Wuthering Kites. Um, Anne wrote Agnes Grey. And Charlotte wrote um, Jane Eyre. Now, Jane Eyre was obviously the more acclaimed book. Now, all of the children died quite young. Five of them died of tuberculosis, and Charlotte died during pregnancy. So, a very sad ending. Um, even though people say this is the basis of um, the house in Wuthering Heights, there's a, a plaque telling me more about it because I've not actually read the books. some shelter in this old house again. Just let it pass. Oh, it's going to get worse. I don't think I'm going to head into Pondon. I might. We'll see what I feel like after I've had my lunch. And find a way of trying to sit down. Remember the last time I came through here on the Pennine Way? There's quite a few tourists here. So they must take the association with the book more seriously than I do. See how the wind's just blowing the house. Straight through this hole. Oh well time for something to eat. Well, I kept walking past Top Withens and I've made it down to Pondon, which is where I originally turned to get to. I'm happy I carried on going because you can see it's, uh, it's not much snow down here. It's a lot clearer. See, so right across the valleys now, across Pondon Reservoir. I'm just going to head up to Pondon Hall and then it's going to be my halfway point for the day and I'll start heading back. What time it is? I'm just back in my car for four o'clock because that's when it starts getting darker. Well, I'm at the um, bridge at the head of Pondon Reservoir, and this is where I'm going to leave it for today. It's been quite a nice day out, fairly cold. But dry. I'm only got less than three hours to get back now, so I'm going to move fairly fast. Not much stopping, and hopefully I'll get back to my car with a little bit of light left. We'll see. I must. Yeah. That'd be a terrible way to the end of the video, wouldn't it? Well, I've managed to make it back to my car, and there's still some light left, though only about 30 minutes left. Um, hard going on top, coming down from top with us, and I, I fell over in the snow quite heavily. I could see the Sully Pike Monument, and even the um, M62. So, I don't look like I've gone very far in these few weeks of walking. So I might want to do a few more weekends to spend myself on. But because this is England and I'm at a road, it means there's a pub within half a mile 
So I'm going to go and get myself a drink and then head home. Come on, sheep, I want to go home. That's right, keep moving. <laughs> 